A 62-year-old with a gun is the only one standing between the nation and a full-scale government takeover. A new study exposes the dangers of conducting research while driving, and Michelle Obama is not so keen on the president's new bangs. And now for a web video you certainly don't deserve, but will get anyway, this is The Onion Week in Review. On Wednesday, the Israeli elections resulted in a sweeping Palestinian defeat. Marking just the latest in over 60 years of election losses for the Palestinians, the 2013 poll results once again put widespread political control into the hands of the Israeli leaders for at least the next four years. NASA scientists announced Tuesday their continuing search for a planet capable of supporting NASA. Officials for the Space Research Agency told reporters that their objective was to find a planet capable not only of generating a steady stream of financing, but also of nurturing life forms with even some vague idea of the importance of astronomical exploration. Ultimately, this would need to be a planet with organisms that have a genuine interest in expanding the limits of their knowledge. Well, we did locate a planet approximately 60 light years away that we felt could provide an adequate level of funding for our research, but our analysis showed that the air was in fact toxic and would kill every NASA employee in well under 30 seconds. The USDA unveiled their updated roommate food pyramid this week, which includes four servings of someone else's grains and cereals per day. Saying the new guidelines better represent the dietary needs of the average roommate, officials told reporters many aspects of the new pyramid are unchanged from the previous version, including a recommended daily intake of five to seven weekly finger scoops of Erica's peanut butter. Remember to limit your intake of sugar and sweets from half-open containers, especially if they're just because she'll definitely notice. Frustrated students from Chicago's inner city announced Thursday they were running out of ideas to motivate their underperforming teachers. Telling reporters that they had tried everything they could think of to inspire their struggling educators, aggravated students traced their teachers' poor performances to numerous challenges they face outside the classroom, such as troubled home lives and even some drug and alcohol dependency issues. Connecting with the teachers gets harder and harder every year. We all come in every morning eager to learn, but most of the teachers just seem completely uninterested in education. The system is really stacked against these teachers. I mean, not only is the school expecting them to fail, but in a lot of cases, their own families are too. It just makes you feel so helpless. In other news, a copy of The Scarlet Letter can't believe the notes a high schooler is writing in its margins. Prince Harry announces he killed some Taliban-looking people during his tour of duty, and a 22-year-old gets a job at a website. A collectible signed copy of every single frame of this week's video is now available for purchase in The Onion store. For more news, visit TheOnion.com.